Thank you, Brother Morgan. Praise his name. Praise, Praise his name. Praise the Lord. Well, there's a song here we can sing that has these phrases in it. All you may need, he will provide. Yes, Brother Jim. And uh, I just want everybody to know that uh, we've been blessed by two precious saints from uh, Margate, Florida, Nazarene Church. Brother Mark's right-hand man here and his precious wife. And I'd like to hear testimony from both of them. Well, Brother Jim, we'd be thankful to hear from you. I want to just praise the Lord this morning. You know, it's it's great to be here with y'all. Uh, great to have you, brother. You know, we've had the the honor of uh, meeting with the congregation in uh, in West Palm, and you know, our church has just been so blessed uh, through that fellowship. Uh, being able to go up there in the mornings, uh, our pastor has just got on fire for the Lord. Amen. And, uh, Thank the changes Lord. in our church has just been miraculous. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, you know, and uh, we just praise the Lord for for. You know, the fellowship here and the fellowship down there and the things that the Lord's doing in, through our church. That's great. We thank the Lord with you. Blesses us. I like to praise the Lord because he's worthy to be praised. He is worthy. I'm thankful. I'm thankful to be here. I'm yes. thankful for each one of you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, blesses us. Didn't you feel the lift and the help of the Lord in that? Oh, we thank him. When I've given you a phrase of a song the Lord has for us, you see already how well it fits, don't you? what God has for us. But before we sing it, I'm going to have Pastor Tony to pray for us, that Jesus would help us indeed. I don't so much as know if it's so much we seek to be meek as we seek to follow him and be submitted to his will. And then the Lord gives us that spirit and takes care. But we want it and we want to follow. And Pastor Tony, could you pray for us? Our Heavenly Father, we thank Thee, Lord, this morning for the privilege of this message. We thank Thee, Lord, that we know that it's attainable. Lord, that we know that we can walk this way. We thank Thee, Father, for the encouragement that You brought through Reverend Morgan this morning, for the insight, for the uh, ability, Lord, that You gave him to get it right to our hearts and minds. Lord. Lord, we pray that this morning that You will help us, Lord, to grab hold of it, to retain it, to apply it to our lives this morning. We thank Thee, Jesus, thank you, for all that You've done, how You've led this morning, how You've guided and directed. And, Father, there's no reason whatsoever for any of us to leave here That's right. uh, depressed oh, or Father. defeated, Lord, oh, that we may leave in victory. And we thank today. You, Father, that we have plenty to grab hold of this morning, that we might walk from this sanctuary in victory and in blessing to honor Thee and to adore Thee. We thank Thee, Jesus, and may You continue to lead and guide as we continue with this service. We pray in His name. Amen. Amen. And so let's stand and sing together number 373 as our continued prayer and an affirmation to the promise given to us today. God will take care of you.
Thank you. You may be seated. Yes, Billy. Please praise the Lord for us all. Because it's so wonderful that the songs are the witness of the Holy Spirit. And they're for us. Is what God's saying to us today. And I want to praise him for this song. And for the promises in it. And his promises are true. They are. Every one of them. And I want to thank, be very thankful for the last verse in particular. And uh, just thank him for his help this week. Thank you, Lord. And seeing where there's more help coming. Amen. That's right. <laughs> and I just want to be thankful. I tell you, it's wonderful. It is wonderful indeed. It is wonderful that he knows just what we need when we need it. Yes. He never comes too late. He never comes late. And I just want to be thankful for the witness of the Holy Spirit for the message this morning. Oh, thank you, and Lord. And for God sending us, Brother Morgan. Yes, that's good. Because... I've gotten so many things oh, so many. through so him from God that I've needed so way. much, and I just want to be thankful That's for right. it. And I know he's here because the pastor's being obedient to the Holy Spirit. So That's right. I just want to be thankful for the Holy Spirit and for That's good. men that are obeying and women that are obeying. And uh, I pray that God will Thank help you, me to be faithful. Yes, and, and I just want to be all. thankful for all of you. I, uh, every time I see all of you go up through whoever's in the line, it excites me, and I, I want to be thankful for each one of you. Uh, sometimes it's different ones, but whoever it is, it's God's will, and I'm thankful for it, and I just want to praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Billy. Yeah. You're helping us to keep uh, the windows to God's help open by your gratitude and thanksgiving. Praise His name. Oh, yes, and um, I had a, a little experience about three years ago connected with Brother Morgan's sermon, and it involved this particular song that we just sang. Well, Sandy, yeah, I feel um, the Holy Spirit when you sing it. <laughs> uh, it was early in 1987, and I was a little bit discouraged over a certain situation, and Bobby Woodrum knew that. And he wrote down the words to this song and sent it to me, and I just took it home and stuck it on the mirror on my dresser. And there it stayed for several months. Well, that fall in October, there was a trip to Israel. And the pastor had asked me if I could go to sing with the choir. And I said, well, I don't have any money. I just have to trust about that. And um, so it came 10 days before the trip. And I still didn't have the money and no word that I was going. And it was on a Wednesday evening. I was getting ready to come to church. And I walked past the mirror where the, the note was. And the phrase, all you may need, he will provide, nothing you ask will be denied, just jumped out at me. And as I came down the hall to leave to come to church, I just simply prayed, Lord, if you want me to go, then you have to send the money, and I don't have it. And um, on Friday morning, Sandy came up to the house, Sandy Chittam, and she said someone has provided the money for <laughs> you to go to Israel. Thank you. I, even after Brother Morgan's sermon, I don't know really what meek is. And I, I, I feel like it's someone who's doing the best they know how to walk with God. And Lord helping, I'm trying to do that. Yes, you are. But that's just a little illustration of what God will do for us Amen. when we're trying to walk with Him. That's right. He never fails. God will take care of you. Praise His name. Yes, Anna. Please. Um, there are some situations that I've been going through and I've been trusting about. And last night I was going through, them. I was really in a place. You know, I went to the dictionary and I said, and I said God, I gotta know what meek is. <laughs> and I said, I've gotta be meek. It's hard to do. I was so desperate. It was like I've got meek and when I when I read in the dictionary I said well there, there's got to be more I need more I've got to have it I've got it now and I know the death is greater than what's in this little world book dictionary <laughs> and I know that, that, that God was dealing with me oh. and I don't feel bad about it I feel good about it that if, if he's going to try to work with me in that area especially if brother Morgan's going to be preaching on something like that <laughs> God feel good 
also I want to praise the Lord thank for, you, Lord. for his taking care of my need. That's right. You know, God will take thank care you. of you. That Hallelujah. was my need. It was, and Sandy's song was, uh, it was uh, my my role is to submit to him. That's right. That's what she's saying. My and role is to like, submit. I am a high spirited person. You know, I have a strong will, and sometimes I don't really realize it. Me, you know, I take it as being bubbly or be, you know, being excited or, and I've been trying to like like this, and it's been hard on me, and I just. Want to praise the Lord? Oh, you, you can know? just be yourself and follow the Lord. Yeah, it's hard to be myself, <laughs> and, and um, I don't want to be myself all the time. It's not very good either. <laughs> but I want to praise the Lord for how He's thank helped, you, Lord. Uh, Brother for Morgan. Help. Yes, um, we do. We thank And I was him. sitting here, and he was going down through the verses, and it's like I was going, "Oh, I hope it's number five. I, I think it was. Uh, <laughs> I hope it's me. I hope it's me." And I, was, <laughs> and I just want to praise the Lord because it helped me. Praise oh, praise God, Anna. We see, God would do it just for you. But the blessing is we all could get it on it too. Hallelujah. Sister Rose, over here, Brother Ron. Thank you, Anna, for obeying the Lord and, and telling us of that. My heart is really pounding this morning. I never cease to be amazed at how the Lord works. We, we have such a wonderful God. He will take oh, care of all of our needs. Wonderful God. And those of you who do not attend Sunday school, you're really missing blessings. I mean, praise the God, you're really missing blessings. Time after time after time, it amazes me that we will have a Sunday school class then we'll go into the worship service, and it's just a carryover from what we had inside our Sunday school class. Time after time after time. And people, if you aren't in Sunday school, you're really missing. Amen. You're really missing. That's right. You're really missing. That's right. This, is, this really has been on my heart. But it brought, was brought home so much this morning. Rodney... Uh, shared how God took care of some needs of His. Yes. He will take care of them. I mean, some almost impossible things weren't the Pastor Rod that He took care of. And then you come in here and and, and uh, Brother Morgan oh, this wonderful tells message. us how we can be assured of anything we need, and that is just to be meek and humble and. Try to be in the will of God. That's it. That's right, Sister God. But, but I, I'm really serious. If you're not an, in attendance in Sunday school, we have good teachers. Pastor Rod is in, the teacher of the class I'm in. He's wonderful. He's wonderful. And I know there's wonderful teachers in oh, all the yes. classes. And if you're Place not in Sunday school, Lord. you're really missing. You're missing. You're missing half. You're just getting half of what you should get here on Sunday morning. Just getting half. Maybe, maybe not even half. But well, God has a lot for us to get, I know. Yes. And we're really missing out. Now, I hate to see you miss. Oh, you I know God's I blessed miss you and you want people to get the blessings, Sister I can't miss a service God. because I know just as sure as I miss a service, there's something oh, we don't know what we might miss. That something I will help I'll us. I never have a chance to get again. It won't. It won't come. That same thing won't come again. Something good will come oh, next time. Oh, he has to. That's but right. But that, that one time, you'll miss something. It will never. You'll never have a chance to get again. Well, we're glad we got in and on this this morning. We serve a wonderful Lord. Yeah, it's we true. We serve a mighty God. Thank you, Lord. And I'm thankful that He has taken care of me all oh, these years. Oh, we're thankful too. I, if I would, if I would do nothing. Except stay on my face all day long and praise him for having taken care of oh, me. I would, oh, I'd, be, I'd we, still be way back. I'd still be way behind up my praise is oh, we're behind. But I do want to say that we do serve a wonderful God. We He's serve wonderful, wonderful for me. He meets all my needs. Thank he may you, Lord. not meet all my wants, but he meets all my needs. I praise Praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Sister Cox. May I say we love you and we're thankful that you're here with us in these services. Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank him for his help. Well, now, Sister Kathy, do you have some announcements for us? 
praise the Lord for the message and for God helping Brother Morgan this morning. I have a few announcements. Tonight we'll be having a baptismal service, and if anyone here would like to be baptized, please notify one of the pastors this morning, please. And also, the Minnesota Fellowship sends greetings. And starting July the 23rd, Maranatha will be having their camp meeting. And it will go through the 23rd through the 27th. And there will be no services here on July 25th. We have been requested to pray for Pastor Hogue. He'll be, he's in Pigeon Forge this morning. And he'll be with us Wednesday and Sunday. And I believe in a couple of weeks he's going to be speaking at a camp meeting. Yes, we want to be praying for services. his strength. You know, traveling yes. as he is and all these services and the assignment ahead. I know he's depending upon our prayers and the Lord's help. Also, those who are going to youth camp, we need your money by this evening. And if you'd see myself or Martha Richardson, we want everyone to go. Uh, if you think you can't go, please see us, and we'll try to work something out. And because we want everyone to go, please. Ushers, would you prepare to take our offering? Sister Matt Tony. I have a few announcements to make. Uh, we have been trying to do some painting up in the gym, and I would like to request that you keep your children at bay and uh, keep them out of there <laughs> for a while uh, until the paint dries, uh, at least enough to where it can be washed off when they do get in there. And uh, so the gym is really off limits uh, for anyone who has an urge to pick up a basketball and to throw it at something. Uh, there are basketball uh, things outside, and you feel free to go out there and throw it at those things. Have you seen any of uh, Pastor Tony's artwork around? Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Well, we're getting there. So anyway, uh, I want to thank uh, some of those who came in to help me this last week. Uh, Keith Lavender donated a real nice countertop um, to help us out up there. And all the Keiths who came in this week, uh, Keith Lewis, Keith Klein, for doing some construction work, and Chad and, and Dick Davis, of course, who's been helping us paint. And believe me, there is still plenty to do if you just have an urge and want to dig a ditch. <laughs> I Come and see me. Thank you. Thank you. I do want to encourage you to keep an eye on your children. We had uh, something happen with our one of our children, and I, I want to share with you. Maybe it'll help you keep a better watch on Whoa. yours, because I think we need to sometimes. It was one evening. One of ours had fallen asleep during the service, and we woke them up to leave. Well, they woke up sort of part way. And started, it was while they were in Israel, and we were staying at Pastor Rod's. He was headed toward the house over here. He got to the, under the portico, and he just sat down on the bumper of Dad Hoke's car. And Dad Hoke couldn't see him. Dad Hoke was about to leave, and I believe it was Joe Reeser and Tina McComas got him off the car and started to the house. But we thought he was going his way over there wide awake. But I want to please watch your children. That's good. Because even if they are wide awake, sometimes it's more dangerous if they are more <laughs> wide awake. But please, let's keep an eye on our children. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to give to you and to your kingdom. We pray you'll sanctify the offering in Jesus' name. Amen.
Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, we have another song to sing before we go. And you know, it's just about that where we've been today, Brother Morgan. It's about meekness. It's about following God and His will and what He'll provide if we do. That's what it's about. And it's the number, it's just past the other one we sang. It's number 374. It's Savior like a shepherd lead us. direction he knows just where we are and just how to help us in our cry to him to get in our heart what he's tried to set before us savior like a shepherd lead us